Today I'm sharing a beef and sweet potato stew that I make for my dogs sometimes. Uh, the recipe is really similar to a uh, beef stew that you would prepare for people. So if you've ever made a homemade beef stew, this is uh, along the same lines about as much work. Um, and this is a great recipe for dogs that have some digestive troubles. If your pet isn't feeling well, if you're trying to get him to gain his appetite back, this is a really great recipe that can be soothing on the digestive tract and get him uh, eating again back to normal. You can hear my microwave running in the background. I am cooking the sweet potato in there right now. So you'll want to cook just one sweet potato. You can bake it if you want to. I throw mine right in the microwave. Uh, and then in a large frying pan on the stovetop on medium heat, you are going to cook one pound of cubed stew meat with one tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm just gonna break up the stew meat a little bit. And you can cut the stew meat into smaller pieces too if you have uh, a small breed dog. This is for my chocolate lab, Sadie, uh, so I'm not worried about the larger pieces. She'll love that. So I'm just going to toss that around a little bit every once in a while and make sure that it's browned thoroughly before I move on to the next step. My stew meat is finished cooking, so now I'm going to take it out of the pan and I'm gonna leave the drippings behind. I'm going to add half a cup of hot water and a few tablespoons of all-purpose flour to this, uh, the drippings from the beef. And I'm gonna stir this around until it makes a nice gravy. It should make a nice thick gravy. If you need a little bit more water, feel free to add a little bit more until you get the consistency that you want. And now I'm going to add my ingredients into the gravy. So I'm going to put the beef back in. I'm going to add half a cup of chopped carrots. Half a cup of chopped green beans. My sweet potato, remember I microwaved it so it's already cooked. You could uh, bake it too, so you just wanna make sure it's already cooked. And then I'm just gonna toss this around. Uh, I'm gonna put a lid on it and just cook it for about maybe, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes on low, just until the carrots and the green beans tenderize a little bit. Once it's cooled, you can serve it to your dog. I recommend serving about a half a cup for every 20 to 25 pounds of body weight. Uh, keep in mind that more active dogs are going to need more calories while lazier breeds may not need as many. So the best thing that you can do is to check with your veterinarian about the best serving size for your dog. And they'll probably also recommend a multivitamin or some supplements to make this meal nutritionally balanced for your pup.